Right. I'm trying to like change, give you guys some different uh, views. There you go, see the side by side. I just went for a drive, it was amazing. So healthy today, we're going to be talking about planning ahead. I am such a bad planner, such a bad organization and um, I want to be the opposite. I wanted to start planning everything. People call me obsessed and crazy and that's okay because they say when you're obsessed and crazy about something, that's really good. Um, so one thing that I noticed when I actually lost weight, when I actually ate healthy, is because I had some meal planning done. So what you want to do is you want to save your time, first of all. You want to save some money because when you do not plan ahead, you lose food. If you're like me, you go and you buy all fruits and veggies, you're pumped up on Sunday and then Monday comes and you're like, ugh, I don't want to eat that salad, I don't want to eat that, and then you grab the chips and you grab this and you grab that. Because you probably went grocery shopping when you were hungry. That's a no-no also. So you ended up eating what you were supposed to eat. Um, you, maybe the Monday you ate all the junk food that was in your house. And then the rest of the week, instead of eating the healthy food, you go back at um, the grocery store and get more junk food. So you do not want to do that. And I just realized that my book is there and it's been raining. Ooh. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. But honestly... Another reason is you want to save stressful overeating and bad habits. So if you do your meal planning in advance, you're going to be cutting up your fruits and vegetables and your snacks and your nuts or whatever you're going to be eating for the day. Have them ready. Have them accessible. Open your fridge or your cupboards. Have them right then and there so you can just grab it and leave. You can help maintain lose weight. You can or organize the family to eat better. You can even have a food chart. I know for my son, if he eats his veggies and his fruits every day, he gets a point. And at the end of the week, he gets a reward if he gets all of his points for his chore chart. So that's another way of doing that. Make it fun, especially for kids. You want to make um, some healthy snacks. Very fun. Look on Pinterest. Look on Google. Look on YouTube. You can find so many great things. But honestly, guys, start planning ahead. And by doing that, follow the grocery flyers or sales uh, like I mentioned before you're going to save yourself time uh, money and try to go grocery shopping when there's hardly any people there do not go on a Friday afternoon everybody finishes work they go for their grocery try, do not go on the, um, those days that people get those checks there uh, I don't know what it's called not welfare checks I think or unemployment or whatever try, the first or the last of the month anyways there's certain times that's worst so try to go, if you got a 24-hour uh, Sobeys or whatever grocery store it is, try to go late. Or um, there's different ways, but I, 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 I hate uh, standing in line at grocery stores. So I try to go, and I always go like on a Monday morning or sometimes when there's hardly any people in town. So get your meal planned.